Hi everyone, it's Nisha. So today I am going to be testing, sniffing Zezhov fragrances. And this is my discovery kit. There is five of them here. I'm sure I chose which ones I wanted. I got it from Zezhov website directly. And yes, I'm sure it was a while ago um, that I could choose the ones that I wanted to sniff. So, in here I have, right, let's start with Italica. So, the bottles are beautiful, but the fragrances are so expensive. Let me remind myself, take my watch off, because it's been a while. I've got some um, notes. I think Italica is, out of these five, one of my favorites. I quite like it. So in here, in top notes, you have almond, milk and saffron. Definitely smell the almond. Then in the middle, vanilla and toffee. So it's quite gourmand. Well, it is gourmand. And in a base, sandalwood, cedar and musk. And I really like this one. I will tell you what this reminds me of straight away when I spray it. Is it in Costa Coffee on Starbucks? Whenever I go there, which is not very often, I always have the cherry almond slice. And I love it. And this is what it reminds me of. Even though there is no cherry in here, but for some reason, that's all I can smell. Cherry almond slice. I can smell a bit of, of saffron and it is quite milky. It's really, really nice fragrance. Even though it's gourmand, it's not too sweet or sickly. So I would consider this one actually. It gets a bit creamier and, and creamier with that sandalwood. I like this one. I can't remember how much they are, but I think they are over 200 pounds a bottle. I think though you can buy smaller bottles on their website. The good thing is when you order the discovery kit, I think it was about 30 pounds. They give you then, they will send you a voucher for that 30 pounds. So if you go back and buy the full size, they will take that 30 pounds off, which I think is great. I think you have 60 days to do that. So I suppose 60 days is long enough to smell them on. Have I still got 60 days? Because I might consider this one. It is really nice. So it has everything the niche perfume would have. It, it smells so different. You probably wouldn't smell anything like it from your mainstream designer perfume. I really like, like it, Italica. So, but the only thing I can say is cherry, cherry almond slice. It's not too sweet, because you know, some, some gourmand fragrances are very sweet that make you feel sick after a while. But this one is just nice. Okay, so that was Italica. Nice one. Okay, the next one is Dama Bianca. And I know, and this is from the Casamorati, um, the Italica was from Casamorati collection. So it's Dama, Dama Bianca. So I've heard a lot of people liking Dama Bianca. Let's see what it has in it. Oh yes, I remember that one. Oh yeah, yeah. So, Dama Bianca in, in the top, kumquat and lime. Kumquat is um, a fruit, it's a bit sweet and sour, lemony, and even has a bit of a pine smell in it. They can be a bit bitter so it's it's a really funny funny one like can be sweet and sour 
lemony but can come become a bit bitter because of that pine scent um, so come quite in lime so it's quite sour at the top but not too too sour then in the middle he has Italian iris, violet, lilac, Egyptian jasmine and lily of the valley. Love all these flowers. And in a base, vanilla, malt, bread, white mask, sandalwood and cedar. So it opens up with that kumquat. I can't really smell the lime because I think if you could smell the lime it would be much sharper. But it is not too sharp. And then you can start smelling the flowers. I can smell the lilac. It is very pleasant. So this I can imagine summer breezy day. You're sitting in a cafe outside on a pavement. Sidewalk for you in the US. <laughs> Drinking coffee and the breeze is just blowing your hair and you just sit there, people watch and dream. It's very, very pleasant. But as it dries down, you're going to laugh at this. OK. Do you remember Lipton tea? This now, straight up iced Lipton tea. I don't know if you have in the US Lipton tea, but I remember drinking it like years ago, you know, as a teenager. Yes, Lipton tea. For some reason, that's what I can smell. But it is really, really nice. It's very feminine. It's very, it's quite fresh, floral, breezy. It's worth sniffing this one. Yes, I like this one too. So Italica and Dama Bianca so far are my favorite ones. The next one is Lira and that's from Casa Moratti as well. This is quite different to the other two. So here I can smell it straight away blood orange at the top. Blood orange and bergamot and lavender. Maybe I can smell a sniff of lavender, but it's not too strong in here, I don't feel. Yes, very citrusy, that blood orange and bergamot. In the middle, cinnamon, licorice and jasmine. And in a base, caramel, vanilla and musk. So it opens up really fresh and citrusy. I would say I can just smell the blood orange and bergamot. I can't smell cinnamon yet, or licorice, or jasmine, and no caramel yet. So I need to wait for it to dry down a bit. So now I can smell a bit of that caramel, but it's not too sweet, you know, you, you imagine caramel being quite cloying and sweet, but it isn't in here. I, I smell more of the citruses still. You know, like I told you, you have to really go on a journey. I mean, some perfume are quite linear. Uh, they smell exactly the same from the moment you spray it till they're gone. But a lot of them, develop throughout the day and you pick up all the different notes. Yes, I can get the caramel now. I don't feel this one is as projecting as much. The first two are a bit stronger and more projecting. Like I can still smell the Italica and the Dama Bianca. Dama Bianca is very gentle. It's a bit of a Lemon cake with caramel now. But I feel like this is almost gone on me. Remember also, each fragrance will last different time on different people. You will project different. 
it's all to do with our skin the oilier your skin the longer your fragrance will last it will mix with the oils and stick to it so if you have very dry skin your fragrances might not last long that's why it's such a good idea to layer your fragrances with body lotions because you give that moisture so the fragrance has something to stick to this one is okay but it's almost gone on me let me spray some more Oh, this opening is definitely blood orange and bergamot. But yeah, it doesn't seem to project much at all. And I don't know, I've been sniffing it for a while now, for a few minutes. And no, this one to me is nothing special. And I don't think this one would last on me either. Yeah, I feel like it's all already gone. Okay, I will sniff it at the end. Maybe it needs a bit of time for something to start coming up to surface. Okay, the next one is again from Casa Morati and this is Dolce Amalfi. So this one in top notes has quince and that's a fruit that is dry and sour. So I wonder if this one would be quite citrusy as well. So it has quince, cardamom, apple and saffron then in the middle cloves tolu balsam and incense and in the base vanilla tonka bean amber and cedar and musk i like the base of it so let's see it definitely tastes dry i wouldn't say it tastes sour so I had almost like the apple and quince at the beginning and then I can smell the saffron and cardamom straight away. I quite like the opening of this. What does this remind me of? The opening reminds me of, oh gosh, when I was a kid we had chewing gums that came in like a bowl. like a fruity, cinnamony chewing gum. I can see it now and I can smell it and I can taste it. That's what it reminds me of. Mmm. Yes, I don't know if you had it here because obviously I was brought up in Poland, but I remember they were different colors. It was like a hard bowl, almost like covered in icing and then you bit into it and there was a chewing gum inside it that's what it smells like i quite like it you know i've noticed that this perfume they remind me something from my childhood or teenage years i always say i like it and i don't know if it's because it brings back those memories and takes me back to those times or is it because I really love the smell it's so difficult to to tell once you start getting into fragrances and you smell it and you close your eyes and you try to think what you smell and what it reminds you of it's really quite nice but weird experience now I get like fruity clove and that incense when it's drying down it's nice but very different I don't know if I like it but I don't hate it I think that from all the niche fragrances that I've tried so far Zergev seems to me like a really good quality beautifully blended stuff this one I think could be unisex, it's a bit spicy, dry, it, now it doesn't smell to me as much as this chewing gum as it did at the beginning, I don't know. It, to me now is becoming more masculine, but not like really, really masculine, but 
I feel like I would like it on a man. This one is interesting. So that was Dolce Amalfi. Okay, the last one is from, it's not from Casa Morati, it's from the Zerge of X, and this is Amabile, Amabil. I don't know how you pronounce that. Oh, I think I remember this one. I think I hated this one, but let's see. Okay, let's spray that on. Oh, the opening of it reminds me of my ankle. <laughs> I had an ankle who was very, very elegant man, always dressed to the nines, always wearing colognes, whatever they were at the time. I'm talking like 40 years ago. The first impression is old-fashioned cologne, man's cologne. Okay, let me tell you. So in top, green apple, Amalfi lemon, Calabrian bergamot, orange blossom. In the middle, Guatemalan cardamom, pink pepper and jasmine. In a base, Mexican vanilla, cedar, white mask and patchouli. I can't really pick out separately any of these notes. It's like everything just been thrown together in a witch's cauldron. <laughs> I think I can smell apple, but almost like a rotten apple. <laughs> like sour, not, not cooked. Like one that you left on the plate and you oxidized and is yeah, like a sour, it's not like a fresh apple. It's getting a bit bitter as well. But I've got a note here saying that in a dry down, it gets better and it's quite nice in the end. So let's wait a bit. I might leave you for five, 10 minutes and come back when this completely dry down and dry down and settled in and I will tell you if yeah it's calming down already let me sit here for a bit and see what it dries down to okay so it has been about 10 minutes and yes it has mellowed down and it's not too bad at all but again to me this is a masculine leaning masculine fragrance. I can see a woman wearing it. It's quite nice in the end. The opening is, to me, is just awful. What is that that I can smell? It's woody. I can't smell any vanilla. But I can't really pick out, you know, it has so many notes. Green apple, lemon, Bergamot, orange blossom, cardamom, pink pepper, jasmine, vanilla, cedar, mask, patchouli. I can't really. I told you at the beginning that like sour dead apple, but. And lemon. I think lemon as well. You, it's quite sharp. But it's not too bad. I'm not mad at it now. I think I would quite like it on a man, but I feel like it's a, like a summer man's fragrance. Yeah, it's okay. I think I can pick up that cardamom a bit. It's not too bad in the end, but I wouldn't wear it. Okay, um, let me smell what was it that I said is gone really quickly. Was it Lyra? Yeah, I can hardly pick pick it up pick it out now but i can smell the caramel now yes i can smell the caramel and i love it but it's i have to really and i sprayed it so many times i need to really really get close so on me this is just like a skin scent close to your body i don't think you will ever smell it on your 
let alone someone else, unless someone would really come and hug you really close. But it's really pretty. I like it. So it's fresh with that caramel, like a lemon caramel cake. Orange caramel cake. It's very nice, but why would you pay so much money when you can't smell it? Okay, so I would say my favorite is the Italica. It's the almond and milk is very mellow, I would say, but it has something, it might be from the saffron. It's not too sweet, it's not too sour, it's not too citrusy. It's worth trying if you can get a sample of the Italica. Now the Dama Bianca, the Lipton tea. It's nice, it's one of those summer fresh breezy fragrances, but I have some, you know, designer ones that I prefer, but it's really nice. If you are into these very gentle, feminine, floral fragrances with a bit of vanilla, then you will like it. It's very, very nice. So Lyra we just talked about and Dolce Amalfi, I really like it, but to me, I'd like to smell it on my husband, not on myself. Definitely, it must be the saffron and cloves, that's it. The cloves, definitely can smell the cloves and maybe a bit of incense. And then the last one, the old uncle cologne. It's pretty nice now when it completely is dried down, but again, to me, this is masculine. Okay, my lovelies, let me know if you have any Serge of um, fragrances. Maybe I haven't picked out very feminine, the nicest ones, I don't know, but let me know if you've got one from Zerzhov that you really, really love and I might give it a try because I am quite impressed with this house. I think everything is blended so, so nicely and um, quite different. So I really like this house, but I would like to try a bit more. So I would be looking maybe at getting another box of five, but you need to tell me if you've got any of those that I should try. Okay, my lovely. So this was a sniffet on of Zerzhov Fragrance House. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and stay fabulous. Bye.